Moshi Moshi my gamers and welcome back to Akaba's trip, Hellbound and Debrief. Willie has gone after DPC solo and is headed to the secret live shows be held at UDX. Join her there. Today we're going to UD+. Okay, okay, okay. So they're here, right? Okay, where are they? Excuse me, officer. So, don't you need plus, right? Do I gotta talk to you? Do you? No, 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 no! Oh, I'm gonna chop you! I'm gonna chop you! I'm gonna I'm out! I'm out! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to hit you or anything. <laughs> no, taking no entry. No good. Wasn't the guy good for a sort of thing? Shit! And I can harass. I got a one! Um, hold on a sec. Let me check my to do list again since I can't get in, actually. Willing me into a live show and you can't get in without a ticket. Who do you know who could help you find out? Um, okay, if I can't get in, then my guess is I might talk to some of my teammates, maybe. My teammates, um, what about Sarah? Has she been to you? Yeah. I feel some moment about the occur. Be, be careful to my senpai and be sure to prepare. Let's talk to you, noble. DP? Oh, that good gone likes not for me. Huh? Because they're a 3D. That's a deal breaker. Even if they're good now, they'll wither away. Temporary good look or bad reason to care for someone. Somebody. If they love you after, you're going to think of more long term. Okay, let's talk to you, Yapti. She's been doing strange lately. He's been real tense about something. Jemai Senpai. You think Big Menu has him cornered? Hmm. So about you, Gon? Ooh, we'll talk to Gon? I huh? guess. Uh huh? DBP's secret concert? Uh huh. Mm. Where'd you hear about that? Only the shiniest platinum members are supposed to know anything about it. Hmm. Um. The platinum members? Yeah, the fan club has tiers. Silver, gold, platinum. Platinum's the highest. It's 10,000 yen a month. But then every month they send you these LE shirts and phone straps. There's more too. Other cool stuff. Like secret photo shoots, priority on concert tickets. Oh, and for fan events, you get these reserved seats right up front. Oh, and I love taking pictures, so yeah, that's a no-brainer for me. Although it seems like almost everybody's platinum these days. So it's not so exclusive anymore. I asked if I can have his ticket. No way! Of course not! I've got one ticket, and it's the first time I've ever been picked for a secret event. I'm not giving this up for anybody. Not even you. Oh man, I tell him to our shower soul and the concert is a trap. I understand. People get worked up over this stuff, you know? It's great that you're into DBP now, but you shouldn't make up lies to get tickets like that. I mean, I know how you feel. I might even do the same in your shoes. But this ticket stays with me. Aww, don't give me sad eyes. You know how much I'm looking forward to this. Also, the ticket says not to say anything about it. Even online, it says if anything gets leaked, the whole concert's gonna get cancelled. So imagine me having to hold all this in. All this time! That's how much I want to go see this show! But, maybe there is something I can do for you. Okay. I know a guy. Bought some tickets off him once or twice. I think he hangs out on Northeast Main Street. He's kind of a tipster. He knows everything about the idol circuit, and he sells the info for profit. Kind okay. of sketchy, but he's a handy guy to know sometimes. So I don't know if he has tickets, but he's in like every fan club, so maybe. I mean, he'll charge you out the ass for it, but... Oh! Uh, something else about him I just remembered. Yeah. Supposedly, he sells tickets cheaper to girls with, you know, strings attached sometimes. Like I said, sketchy. But some girls are serious enough to jump on that. I mean, you know. Anyway, clock's ticking. If you want that ticket, you'd better hurry up. Yeah, thanks for the info. So, so from what I'm seeing... Okay, he's in E Street. Okay, good. I'm going. This is where he's at, right? So, where can he be? Can it be like one of those instruments? Okay, he's over there. What about you? No, that's a woman. Not that one. Hmm, it's probably that one. What about you? Another piece of a day. Not a cat lady. What about you? Shady students. Am I in the way she actually? Hold me double check real quick. So, N E. Okay, I'm at the wrong city. <laughs> My bad. One city. 
He's at NE. I am so funny. I might go that one. Okay, he has to be in here somewhere. Let's check every corner of the site. Um, he's possibly... He's possibly this guy. No, not that one. Uh, a cosplayer. Are you doing that? Want some tickets? I got the good shit. Sure. Which one do you want? Oh, it's a TV show? You got yours, girl. You know your shit. These are almost priceless. Well, cool. I'm one of them, so let's see. How about finally yen for it? On second thought, I don't want to make you pay that much. How about let you get a couple of things? And you get half off. Nah, six percent off. Twenty thousand yen. What do you say? Uh, all right, deal. Hehe, <laughs> I love this job. Well, here's the ticket. Oh, nice. Now, the sales are for the rest. Oh, huh? wait, I know this feeling. Hey. You bastard, don't tell me. You're a dude? Oh, well, I get it. Hey, to be honest, I'm kind of curious lately. Let's see, how about the meal for tricking me? I'll, I'll get to do more things than just touch. Here. Oh, they want to kick my ass, huh? Nah, -uh, nah, -uh. get your ass off here. I'm stronger than you, boy. Come here. Oh, slow ass. Gotta be careful. Hey, and your pants. Naked. Yeah, fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, you saw that shit? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Yes, I'm a woman. I like- Ooh, money! Excuse me! I got a ticket! Oh, it's you again! Yes, alright. The show I already started. Please hold inside. <gasps> Ooh, we're gonna see those girls. What's wrong with you people? I can't hear you at all! Oh, one more time. What? They want your titty pics. Oh, okay. Including gone. Singing. Oh, there's a concert, okay. Wait a minute. What was that I saw? Those red lines. Are they trying to hypnotize us with that? I think that's all it is. 
but the colors love them at least. <laughs> Woo! What are you doing here? I explained the email from Chi. See, I must have worried both of you greatly. Are you here to assist me then? Hmm. Yeah, I figured you could use a hand. Huh? Truly? Thank you. Listen, I've laid out a plan. I've confirmed that after the concert ends, they'll move to a different venue for a fan meetup. That will be our chance. The staff, my sister's minions, are in charge of moving the crowd. First, we eliminate them. Then, we step in, move the crowd somewhere else, and tell them the meetup is canceled. Hmm. Uh, got it. Good plan. The song is almost over. Okay, so who am I wearing? Oh, so you're missing the inkoi. We can let everyone get just go yet. Please head back. Enjoy the rest of the show, sir. What's up with this guy? Uh, let's just get rid of him. No one's gonna miss one person. Yeah, but not taking any chances. Oh, right, sir, as a special service, we'll walk you straight to the meetup. In his defense, right this way. Nah, -uh. now I'm too strong for you. Yeah, see? So sure for you! Hey! Hey! Yeah. Uh, oh, that's a head. One button. Give me this! And this! Now I'm disguised. It's quiet here. We must tell the rest of the crowd away. She's so where is she now? I better go find her. Uh oh, hey Jamal, it's but it's B. The client was in no way real with the church time drop. If you don't wipe the suit, I'm going to get cancelled. Hurry up before his love just hits. Uh oh. I think my understanding, I got disguised as a cop. So is that why? Do I have any? Wait, I don't. Um, I guess I'm fine then. Oh, look at those two. Going on? The staff's gone. The crowd's gone. There's no one. Nobody's even answering my texts. <sighs> Some stupid volunteer probably gave out the wrong address. Well, I better not sit around. Let's go find them. Oh, it's really gonna suck if those dumbasses get away now. Mana, two things I want to say here. Number one, something's off. Even if they have the wrong address, they should still be answering me. Yeah, all right. Good point. It's possible we might have some agents in the mix. Let's keep that in mind. Nah, those jerks wouldn't have a clue about all this. Besides, you sure? they're not in the business of saving anyone. <laughs> and they call us monsters. They don't care about people. They just want to kill us. Same as always. Well, there might be exceptions. Look at us. We have Rui. She's not like we are. She's just a mama's girl. Can't wait till she finds out about her next plan. Shh! That's top secret. Focus here. My bad. Look, forget I said anything about Rui. I told mom. Mom's gonna take care of it. This is why I love you, sis. You're always so efficient. Now let's go after those dumbasses. My other thought? Right. Yeah. Even if they are just humans, don't call our fans dumbasses. Oh. I know they're a means to an end, but we couldn't do what we do without them. Besides, I actually kind of enjoy singing for them. You and me, raising our voices together, it's a wonderful feeling. Even just now, you feel it too, right? Mm. Um, uh, I didn't say dumb asses. I said, um, domestic fans. You, you know, sure? As opposed to international ones. Okay, that's fine then. You know, now that I think about it, it's really too bad they're all humans. They're really missing out, not being shadow souls. Yeah, if they were, we could make them all our servants. But they are what they are, and that means we have to do what we have to do. Sad, but it's not a game. You have your feelings and I have mine, but the mission comes first, right? Yeah. All right, sounds like we're all set then. Okay, well, there's no point in standing around here. Let's start by going back to... Wasn't he at the show? Hi, right, what up, bitch? Oh, how adorable. He's surprised to see us. I dress like a bitch, like you guys. Let's have a little chat with him. Sure thing. <laughs> hey, you. You were at the concert earlier, weren't you? The staff was supposed to bring everybody over to the meetup. 
Did something happen? We seem to have hit a snag. Hey! She's asking you a question! Speak up, you dumb... Hey! Mana? A stick fan? Yeah! Thank you! You know yours is kind of bigger test than the other one. Please, if you could, just tell us where everybody went. Hmm... Uh... I'll be more worried about you right now. <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't get all cocky just because we decided to look at you. Mana, get back! You've got to be an agent. No way. No. No way. What? Are we... are we busted now? No. No, 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 no. This is not happening. Look at his stance. He knows stripping techniques. That pretty much proves it. Oh, oh no. Then that means no more... no more live shows. Mana, calm down. I, I really did love to sing with you and scream with you and everything. We knew this was going to happen sooner or later, remember? Oh, fuck. I'll kill you. My guess is he's an enhanced agent. They must have found a way to mimic our powers, which means he probably has our weaknesses too. Let's rip his clothes off. And here I thought all of Nairo's freaks were busy chasing Mom. Whatever. You've taken away our music. You're insulting our race. It's not Nikoi. Get ready. Oh, twinsies. Uh -huh. Oh, 15 damage. That's bullshit. You caught the damage. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Hey, both of you. Come on, come on. Here I come. Oh my goodness. The boy here at once. One by one, you fucks. Duh. Duh. Yeah, they're going there though. I'm gonna grab. Give me your outfit! If I go well, then I'll definitely. Oh, you're kicking me? What the hell was that? <laughs> Give me a shit. Oh, I miss. Oh, you're going red! Give me this! And give me this! Only one? Not the other one? Really? Um, okay. This. this bastard! Ooh, hoo, hoo. He's strong! He can't just be an enhanced agent. There's gotta be something more. No. You see that agent you was talking about? The one who drank Rui's blood? Her blood. Oh, that's gotta be it. Shit, he's that agent. I shouldn't have dropped my guard. Ugh. Hang in there, Mana. Can't lose this one. What's mom gonna say, huh? Uh, right. Not gonna let that happen. No matter what, no matter what, I will never let mom down. Yeah. For mom, you and I are gonna keep on fighting to the death. Agent, bring it on! Um. What the? I thought I heard DBP's voices. Uh oh. Come on. Hey, dude! The fuck are you doing? Wait. So this must be oh. Real fan meet and greet. Hey, hey, dude! The fuck are you doing? You're doing like point up shit. Huh. Guess that cancellation was part of the secrecy. Because of all the hardcore fan service. Uh, no! Hey! Don't stop! Your pictures! I can't stop. My shutter hand just keeps going. Stop taking photos! Who are you? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Get out of here, gone. Huh? Why? Oh, hey, you got a ticket. Whoa! <laughs> hey, he got knocked out. So hey! You know each other, agents. Oh, you're stepping on him. I wish that was me. Just kidding. Huh? What's going on? Wait. Are you two shadow souls? Well, I see you're all caught up. Though you don't look like much of an agent. Listen, agent, or whatever the hell, I don't really want to hurt this kid right now. Oh my god, you are Shadow Souls! Sorry, but you being friends with the agent there, you're going to be our hostage. Oh, uh, okay. I, I, I understand. In fact, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll go with it. God, no, he likes that shit. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, I really like you. As in, I really respect your artistry, and I, I've been a fan for a while. Um, look, I, I know this is bad for him, but I'm really glad I can help you out here. Uh, Mana, this kid? Yeah. Weirdo. Uh, wait, why? I couldn't stand another minute with that royal dumbass. Mana? Fan. Royal fam? Sorry to keep you waiting, Agent. Let's just hurry up and do this. And we're not going to lose. Uh, did I think you asked me to naked, dude? Sorry, but... 
what? Uh, I, I'm sorry. Oh, a human, an agent taking pity on us. Uh, Are you sure, dude? Uh, I know. Uh, um, I'll hold on to this camera. We'll wipe it, then drop it off back here tomorrow morning. What? No! Shut up, you simp. Hey, we didn't say you could take our picture in the first place, dumbass. Do it without permission. I don't mean domestic fan. I mean straight dumbass. Let's go. Sorry. I didn't quite get what was going on, but I felt like I had to. Even if they're shadow souls. I'm sorry. It's okay, I guess. Okay, we got the button bash. Do I get to wear that? Oh, that's probably I can't wear it yet. I got an email. I got emails from Rui and Miss Maido. Okay, another mission down. Okay, let's read it. I oh, hello, Jim Mason, but thank you for seeing me. Have you been there mm, much? Would you have been different? What would I talk to Craven if it was cancelled? I thought they were going to riot, but instead they all walked away. It's the best we could help for it. More than that, we went up against my sister and won. Have I fought them alone? They have torn me apart for certain. For now, I am safe here with my uncle. I do not expect my sister will come after themselves in the near future. Not in the state. However, the means are likely watching me, so I should keep my head down. Best not to attract any agents at the moment. No offense. Technically, it's related to that. I hear that mother is monitoring my sisters as I write this. I can only imagine that traitors they must be suffering. As I said, thank you very much. Jemai Senpai for coming for me, helping me, for everything. Honestly, I wish I could say I'll never need your help again, but once never know. P.S. Should there be anything I can do for you, let me know. Confirm as I am, I will aid you to the best of my ability. Oh my god, I do! I can wail here! That's kinda weird. <laughs> Even the late parts? Ooh, okay. I got to get the head part for now, because that's all I can wail. Look at this outfit, damn! They're even bouncy. Okay, they do balance when they're walking. Oh my god! Anyways, back to my base. Okay, hello. What are you drinking? How is it? Delicious. The cup looks nice, even. <laughs> Feels like I'm at a cafe with you around. I appreciate the compliment. <sighs> if only this place got more natural lighting. Wouldn't have to be an open terrace or anything, but. Unfortunately, that is beyond my power. I think she might be dropping a hint, maybe. Well, it's not as if we could have a secret base up on a rooftop somewhere. They call it going underground for a reason. Yeah, and there's gotta be all these weird machines and flickering lights, right? You gotta have that vibe. When I was a boy, I loved those kinds of places. So when I thought about a base for the Freedom Fighters, this was my first choice. But now it seems Sara's decided to spruce up the place. Yeah, I just looked around and everything was so much cleaner. Cozier too, but we'll have a cafe here before we know it. Girls will never, ever understand our dreams, and I'm not sure I'd want them to. Yeah, I know what you mean, in a weird sort of way. Yeah, yep. Boys and girls are separate life forms from different galaxies, never to comprehend each other. Huh. That sounded very dramatic. Yeah, the super experienced dude says it at the end of this 1H game. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> I can hear every word they're saying. Please do not mind them. Right. Next time, may I serve you at the cafe? Uh oh, no. Uh, 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 I'm not too good with those kinds of cafes. Uh, what do you call them? Momoe? It's a bit outside of my wheelhouse. Please don't fret. I can recommend cafes for a wide variety of tastes. I work in several of them myself. Then, then I suppose I could try one. Splendid. Though, I do believe the ambiance of a maid cafe could suit a classy woman like yourself. Classy woman? Y you think so? Red flag. She's watching me like a tiger. Like the master. I do think so. Not as a customer, mind you, but as a maid yourself. You have that potential. Or so it seems to me. What do you think? I'd be happy to put in a good word for you. You could take on a whole new persona, meet new people, and serve them. It's quite an experience, and I believe you'd enjoy it. I really don't know the first thing about that. There's no need to. All that matters is that your effort and your innocence reach the master's heart. Yes, indeed. I could make a pristine maid out of you in a week. 
the top maid of your cafe in a month. I, uh, really need to prioritize my day job right now. B besides, I'm happy where I am. No complaints. So, uh, sorry. I see. Please forgive the intrusion. It's fine. It's a habit of mine. I see potential in others and I rush it like a hound. I do beg your pardon. Uh, huh. She's not a bad person. Oh. Yeah, hey, what up, guys? Look about willing. I see the master has come home. Master? You call me master? <laughs> That's kind of awkward. All right. Everyone, Mr. Sejima is on his way here. For now, let me bring you up to speed. As mentioned in the email, the individual known as Mother Soul is heading here to Akihabara. And she's bringing her entourage. Each one a battle-hardened veteran. Sounds... Dangerous. It is, but it also means we have a chance. Up to this point, Mother Soul has had her people run the shut-in project here, while she's been on the run around Japan. Our top agents have been chasing her all this time. Oh, so there are other agents. I was wondering why you seem short-staffed around here. If your people were out, I suppose that explains it. So what was that about there being a chance? Hmm, I think this is about to get wadui. What should I do? Listen to new info. The shadow souls are like a swarm of bees. Without their queen, they'll all go extinct? No. No. <sighs> okay, so what then? Let me lay it out from the beginning, now that you've all been cleared for it. If you didn't know, there are three basic tiers of shadow souls. Mother soul at the top, then her family, then her family's henchmen. Are you with me so far? Makes sense to me. Her family and their henchmen are in charge of the shut-in project here in town. What her family members lack in numbers, they each make up for in strength and intelligence. Conversely, their henchmen are numerous but lack initiative. The family uses them as pawns. Pawns? So like slaves then? One could think of them that way, yes. So, um, are any of them, you know, cute? By any chance? My god! Oh, is that what you're into, Gone? What is Gone digging? I didn't even know. Oh, no, I didn't mean that. You sure? I wonder if Gone's worried about those two. two. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Incidentally, there are males and females among both the family members and their followers. Is there a way to tell who's in the family and who's not? Huh? Uh, well, as I said before, most followers lack the initiative of the average human. So they wouldn't bully their audiences or, or kick the fans or say things like domestic fan when they mean dumbass, right? What? Right? Uh, well, the henchman's usual MO is to blend in with the regular human population, so they wouldn't risk standing out by acting that way, I wouldn't think. Oh, thank goodness. Mm. That being said, the henchmen are individuals. And some of them have been promoted over the years. When that happens, the Shadow Souls generally make more henchmen to replace them. So is Mother Soul the same way? Could they replace her? Yes. In fact, among her family, she does have a designated heir. We know that much. Even so, the loss of their current Mother Soul would cripple their power structure. For that reason, we've gathered all of you. We're going to go get them, huh? They'll be ready. It won't be easy. But we have to take this shot. So, I have a question then. Why would Mother Soul take the risk of coming here in the first place? We don't know. Our agents know she's coming, but we don't know why. That's the intel we have from Mr. Sejima's report. It's possible the shut-in project hit a snag somewhere, or the Shadow Souls might be having some kind of internal squabble. And that's that. If you have any questions, now's the time. Hmm, okay. What do we know about Mother Souls, huh? <sighs> Her identity is still unknown to us. From what we understand, she's at the top of the hierarchy, above the other family members. Her family and their henchmen alike obey her commands. Essentially, she's the linchpin for the Shadow Soul organization here in Akihabara. And when her time comes, she'll take Mother Soul's place in every capacity. So we take out Mother Soul and the heir, and that's it? Happy ending, roll credits? <laughs> Not exactly <laughs> no. Mr. Sejima's instructions. We're aiming to capture the air alive. Huh? Why? I thought you agents were trying to drive them away for the sake of humanity. That answer's above my pay grade. It's possible she has some other value to the organization. How odd. I'm sure Mr. Sejima has his reasons. <sighs> hmm. I want to know more about uh, about Nero. Such as? Hmm. Let's see about you. Me? Hmm. Um... 
What's your relationship with the master? Uh huh? My relationship with the master? Yeah, like the way she likes to do some kinky shit with you and your nipples are hard already. Uh, uh, Don't hide it! Hey, hey, you better tell us. The master is. Yes, you seem to know the master better than anyone else in the organization. They certainly don't see her the way you do. If you need the details. Originally, the organization tried to fight the Shadow Souls with conventional combat techniques. But, as you may have noticed, they're physically superior to humans. If you stand there trading blows with them, they'll outlast you for sure. And with their existence classified, we were fighting with one hand tied behind our backs. Bullets don't kill them, and heavier weapons would give us way to the public. We considered working through the police, but that would have its own set of risks. Not everyone on every force could keep a secret, and we couldn't cover up all the evidence ourselves. The organization's whole policy was all about what it couldn't do. Then we discovered strip fighting. Expose their skin, set them up for a sunburn, and ashes to ashes. I don't know how the organization first found the master. I do know many of the agents who were training under her. Well, let's just say they never left town. What? Was the training that intense? Oh, no, I didn't mean that. They became her servants. Either the master took a personal interest in them, or vice versa. Oh. Uh, hmm. Listen politely. In the organization, we consider those people washouts. But we have to admit, they helped train the best. And because of that, We've kept the casualties in town to a minimum ever since. Hmm. Okay, no more questions for me. Uh, hmm. Huh? What? I have a question. Go ahead. How did the organization first learn about the Shadow Souls? Is there anything written about them? Well... All that's written about them is in our combat manual. Okay, he's back. Including the transcripts of older texts that aren't so easy to find anymore. They were originally a bloodline of demons. There are folk tales about them in old encyclopedias. Most of what we know from that era comes from occult superstition. Even then, they were deep, dark secrets. Maybe that was true back then. But what about these two? Wait a minute. Hey! You look human enough. What are you doing? Nothing. It's just your eyes. I thought she was groping her for a second. They looked hostile for a moment. I had to be sure. My apologies. Well, if I'm no longer a suspect, may I ask another question? Go right ahead. Whatever you have on them from the old days, you don't seem to have much on them now. Fair point, but are you suggesting there's something we don't know? Huh? You don't think we've been hunting them for decades without any leads, do you? We caught them. Several specimens. We made them talk. Are they still intact? Ah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. The specimens we caught have all expired. No! What's the matter? Nothing. We need new specimens. Family members, preferably, or as close to them as possible. That's where you come in. We've been tracking a certain shadow soul who goes by the name of Suzu Mori Izumi. We want you to bring her in. She may not be Mother Soul's biological family, but I suspect she'll be valuable nonetheless. Once we bring her in, what'll happen to her? Are you worried about her? Uh. It doesn't matter. She'll give us the name of Mother Soul's heir. And then she'll give us her blood. You look like I might have lost you there. If you want to know what I'm talking about, take a look at the kid. Remember how he became a Shadow Soul. <laughs> what? By fire with fire, huh? That's right. With their blood, we can make it a fair fight. With Mother Soul on the way, we need a large amount quickly. Our supply has already run out. Supply? And in our current state, I don't like our odds in this fight. We need enough blood for the whole team, and we need it now. Then even you two? No. I... Akihabara's home agents aren't using the blood, no. Some of us, for all our sakes, they have to use those demons' filthy poison. Let's not call it poison. I excuse me. I envy you, kid. The blood of her family has kept you going this long. Physically, you're on par with any of her children. At first, I couldn't believe it, but you're night and day from what you were. That said, don't rely on the power forever. Family blood or not, it will wear off eventually. And when that happens, the withdrawal will hit you like a brick. Just like any other addiction. One minute, you're beyond human. Aside from the one weakness, you're basically a superhero. You don't age, 
You heal instantly, you're strong and fast, and then the next minute, it's all gone. You go from immortal to mortal. You feel heavy, trapped inside a dying body. And that's just what it feels like physically when you first change back. But with a careful, measured regimen of blood, the body can be conditioned to hold on to it permanently. So yes, you can become a shadow soul forever. Or so our experiments say thus far, though there have been a few small side effects. So like, send a monster to catch a monster, yeah? Well, something along those lines. You missed her such a much. I know. We've strayed from the topic. Let's get back on track. As I've mentioned earlier, I'm asking you to capture Suzu Mori Izumi. Be warned that she's very light on her feet. The moment she sees you, she'll run. I want the whole team staking out every point in the city. I'll send as many men as I can spare, but it's going to take more than that. I want you to be on point with us. Just to confirm, we're planning to capture a girl, interrogate her, and drain her blood? You eat meat, don't you? Pigs, cows, sheep, fish eggs. Animals can be adorable. We all know that. Your target might look adorable, too. But save the empathy for all her victims. That said, I appreciate you voicing your concerns. If you'd rather sit out, you're certainly welcome to. Oh, I'll do my part. I see. You're strong. For Japan and humanity, all of us have to be. Is anyone else having second thoughts? We... do get paid, right? Of course. Our investors will make sure you're all properly compensated. Hmm. I love being properly compensated. <laughs> well, we do know how valuable you are. You being the only one here with the blood of the family. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some preparations to make. Once we're all set to go, I'll contact you. Until then. Okay. Oh my, is this Bowser responding? That's kind of awkward. I got an email. Okay, to the whoop top? Already? Okay, leave this real quick then. It's time, Jim. I said we have the eyes on Susan Moore, and we're moving to a preach end. By her means, let's see. I know it's unnecessary for you, so maybe on the rooftop, and I'll guide you from there. I'm gonna stop it there, so I could grind off camera, so I'll be ready for the next episode. I'm gonna end it there. Like, subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.